Okay, presenting first today is Mr. Cade Foster. And today we'll be talking about uh, what it takes to be a lineman. Uh, you've got to have at least a high school diploma. You've got to be at least 18 years of age. Uh, you've got to have a valid driver's license. Uh, and then the OTC program offers a career placement services and financial aid factors. Uh, the pay on average you make about it just really depends on where you live. I mean, it like varies from state to state, but like on average, law make about seventy-seven thousand to eighty-four thousand a year. Uh, the health insurance benefits uh, for you, yourself, and your family: you get dental and vision insurance, and it's all provided by the electric industry. None of it comes out of your own paycheck; it's all money. Uh, the work hours vary, but on average you're going to be working about eight hours, five days a week. But you also have on-call shifts, like if emergencies happen, like out of town, like storms, hurricanes, just depends. Like say a hurricane happened, like in Florida or something, you'll have to go down there and help them out. And you could be on call like all week, and you stay going long periods of time. Uh, these are two places that are you can employment, like Pike Electric, which is in Maria, Georgia, and the IB, the EW Union Lineman is just like it's like across the nation, just like a group of people that employs linemen. Uh, my cousin mentioned to me that's what he currently does, and whenever he talked about it, I thought it might be an inter interesting career to pursue, and it makes decent money, so I thought that it would be a good job to take. Uh, you don't have to have an internship, but of course, always an, inter an internship always helps. It don't never hurt. And this is my budget chart. Uh, after high school, I plan on getting a job, and that my income is going to be about eight hundred dollars a month. Fixed income about two eighty five. Controllable at $110, and it leaves me a, a negative balance of $295. And uh, my career portfolio shows my dedication to sports. I played sports uh, all throughout high school. Uh, my three R's, uh, recommendation, reference, and my resume. Those probably help me pretty good too. So any questions? Do you have a backup plan? Yes, uh, my backup plan would probably work with my dad. Just like foundation walls. He's been doing it like 25 years, so if ever this fails or anything else fails, that's what I'm doing. I can always fall back on that. Just work with him, take over that business, family business. So, so one, one thing I would suggest, suggest on either one of the jobs um, is you could, could use the Tennessee, Tennessee Promise, promise mm -hmm. to, to go to Chattanooga State. State. Or Cleveland State, State, I believe, you'd, you'd have, have to check, check but they, you can get your CDL driver's license. Mm -hmm. that, that really helps you align the job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, everyone that I've talked to that go with that, that's one of the first things that they try to get. Mm -hmm. And you can get that paperwork through the Tennessee Promise. I would definitely look into doing that because that would help you. Of course, there's tons of jobs that you can get with that. Yes. Do you have any experience in this field? I do not. Any other questions? All right. So what's stopping you from, like, well, what guides you to going in to be a lineman instead of just going in with your dad in the first, in the first place? Well, doing what my dad does, definitely not a fun job. It's definitely hard. Digging ditches is not fun. Especially when you're sitting there doing it with a shovel because you don't even have a backhoe to do it. We got a digger with shovels, which absolutely suck, especially whenever you're getting like bedrock and stuff. You got to dig and you dig and you dig. And starting out, you only make about $13 an hour. And even like his highest paid guys, like only like $22. So it's not really something to get money immediately. I mean, it's decent money, but it's nothing. This, you can take like three to four years and you can be making like 60, 70,000, at least 50,000 plus with him. I'm not gonna be making. I'm gonna be making like under fifty thousand until maybe like an eight to nine, ten year mark until he decides that he's done with the business, and, and then I'll be taking it over. See, like what he does, he makes good money, but the workers, it's definitely not the income. It's not the best. 